Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video will show you another series, the last chapter from 5 physics SPM for those sitting for, for this uh, upcoming examination on November end of the month I'm doing uh, this video could be just a guide for you to learn about physics radioactivity now in this ch chapter I'm going to summarize into actually four parts only four okay so first part we will be doing a uh, atomic structure then a uh, second part would be about half-life T half um, we will talk about a uh, radioactive decay so this is about how long does it take how long does it take I mean X is the axis of time and this is time called uh, half time how long does it take for this material to decay to become half of its original say initially it's one percent uh, hundred percent how long does it take to become fifty percent okay then uh, third part is a uh, application of radioisotope now this part is something that you need to actually read uh, that require uh, require reading you need your textbook or reference you need to read on it you need to know at least at least three okay three different uses of radioisotopes there are actually six okay then the last part or part four is nuclear energy how are you going to use how are you going to how is okay how is energy from radioactive material okay how, to, how is it so to start out with for this part of this video the first part I'm going to do uh, I'm going to talk about atomic structure yes atomic structure this is all about in this video okay I'll, so meanwhile in the event that uh, you miss some bit you miss you miss any of this uh, video all you do is a pause and uh, rewind to the previous few uh, seconds so that you can get it so from uh, what you have learned from chemistry atom okay an atom comprised of a nucleus and then the nucleus surrounding surrounded by clouds of electron okay electron clouds electron okay electrons so there are uh, various different orbits okay I uh, would draw a few one two okay so these are the uh, electron okay so um, you should actually refer to your chemistry how they get to know about uh, atom it goes from really long way okay so first thing you get to know from here it's a nucleus and then nucleus is surrounded by an electron now by the mean of this discussion you should be aware that all these atom they are actually neutral okay neutral atom meaning it is not being ionized like you have learned in chemistry no okay it's a neutral atom meaning the uh, number of proton and number of electron they are the same so they are neutral off that's why it's called neutral atom okay so uh, this chapter radioactivity from 5 SPM we get to learn uh, a few things first electron or the core principal uh, atoms okay electrons whether it's uh, in which orbital so in terms of neutral atoms number of proton will be equal to number of electron okay so there are some objective question you should actually pause this part of video and then I uh, should try at least 10 to 15 questions from two to three uh, different publisher over their uh, objective question okay then uh, you learn about electron then you learn about a nucleus right in uh, chemistry nucleus it's not the uh, nucleus you learn from biology is different nucleus but this in physics or chemistry we learn nucleus is actually the core of an atom okay and specifically for this chapter we learn what is actually inside this nucleus okay what is that inside okay and uh, how are you define uh, how are you to tell when it is a neutral atom okay by the number of proton and neutron so uh, inside a nucleus they are going to have something called proton it's not the national car proton but it's a name given to uh, the proton and uh, new 
neutron. Okay. So inside a nucleus, they are going to have proton. Say for this case, if it's a neutron atom, since there are three electrons only, then they are going to have three proton. So if you look into the uh, periodic table, three proton is actually lithium, right? Lithium ion, lithium. So I'm going to denote it with a positive sign, meaning it's a proton. And then a uh, neutron, I'm going to use another color. Um, I use a uh, neutral N green. So when it's neutral, normally the number of proton and neutron should be uh, over equal number, okay? For the first few, for the first perhaps 79 element, okay, they are going to be uh, equal, okay, proton and neutron. So these are the three uh, fundamental particles, okay, for a proton. So for fundamental particles, especially in the objective question, what are fundamental fundamental particles? Or they call it the fundamental meaning a basic, okay? The basic particles. But the word, the term is called fundamental particles. So fundamental particles comprises of first would be the proton, which I've mentioned earlier. Second would be the neutron. And the third one is called the electron, which carry the negative charge. I will talk about the charge uh, towards the end, which is actually a constant, um, which you doesn't need to know it now. Maybe you, by the end of this uh, video, you'll be able to uh, okay get to know what is it. It's actually a constant number. It's a fixed number. Okay. So this is the essence. For an atom, and you should have this in your mind. Nucleus, what's inside nucleus? And uh, in terms of answering question, in order to actually uh, represent it, uh, scientists actually find way to represent certain element. Okay, let's say for example, element X, element. Okay, they call it X. Okay, any element, any random element you can find. The format would be first upper left hand corner. They call it A. A is actually a neutron number. And then lower left hand corner is Z. Z is actually the number of proton. So in this case, easily, yeah. Okay, let me write down for you. Z is actually the proton number. How many protons are there? Okay, this is just a format. Normally, uh, you have with a number, they will write a number. And then, uh, say in this case, for this, I mean, for this uh, graphic, so there are going to be three, okay? And then this is neutron number, is actually the number of proton and neutron, they call neutron number. So for, to represent the right hand side over this diagram, the number would be six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. That's a neutron number. Okay, six. Proton number would be one, two, three. Three proton, three, for this particular element. But of course, if you cross check it with your uh, periodic table, then you know it's actually lithium. But in this case, we doesn't need to actually identify it, unless it's in a subjective question or essay question. Then maybe yeah, they will ask you propose the element. Okay, so the upper left hand corner. It's actually the total nuclear number. Okay, so you should bear this in mind. You should learn it now. This is the total number in the nucleus, which is the proton and neutron. Follow up. Next, I'm going to talk about how are you going to. Uh, do some practice exercise, give you some example to work out with. Say for example, any element, let me pick, well, let's say I have something called 1-1, one, one, and it's actually hydrogen, H. Okay, 1-1. One, one. So, uh, first thing come to your mind, the upper left is 1, 
lower right lower left is one okay so what's the proto number yes proto number lower left hand corner is one yes lower left hand is proto number then how about the uh, neutron number how many neutron are there I think it's it's hard right but it's actually uh, the nucleon number A subtract with the proton number Z for in this case it's zero there's no neutron for hydrogen and uh, this is always a new uh, neutral atom so therefore number of electron will be one which you need it to actually uh, stabilize the proton okay it's neutral atom that's why it's one unless is a positive or negative sign over the right upper right hand corner like normally seen in uh, chemistry for this case uh, it's actually neutral okay there's no plus or minus so um, a is a neutral number so it's actually a okay which are referred to here neutral number a okay you need to really familiarize with this symbol a and z so it helps you better to pick up this chapter you may actually gone through the uh, exercise book. You may pause this video, go through the video, go through the uh, exercise, or go through about eight to ten. See if you can get the right answer. So, uh, yeah, proton number P is actually Z. Okay, um, I'm gonna write it down here. I know it's pretty hard if it's first time watching it. You could learn this subject suddenly. There are so many symbol. I'm gonna do it slowly. I'm give you another example. Here, I have four, two, famous. You, you got to see this element quite a lot. Helium, H E. Okay, helium, four, two. Let's find out how many proton are they. Two. Proton is actually Z, right? Z is lower left hand, so it's two. Then uh, neutron. How many neutron are there? It's A minus C. So top subtract with the bottom. So four minus two is actually bottom okay 4 minus 2 is actually 2 proton you found a neutron how about electron electron is not stated but you know it's neutral atom so therefore it is equal to 2 they are going to have 2 electron same as with the number of proton okay I hope this uh, exercise helps you out with your exercise you need to try at least okay 10 to uh, 15 questions objective questions Normally they give you yeah uh, they normally give you an uh, equation and then find out okay so that you are really good at it so A is actually a nucleon number right so uh, I hope two examples should be uh, sufficient for you you should pause this video and then really go through the uh, exercise otherwise you really can't get everything in okay. So uh, let me tell you some facts about uh, the fundamental particles or a constant, actually a constant. First thing you should be familiarized by now or you should, uh, you should know, it's called the mass. Okay, the mass for, um, I start off with electron. Okay, so this is we have electron. The mass of an electron, how heavy? M subscript E mass of electron is actually equals to 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 kg okay so this is a constant number if you have a scientific calculator it's actually printed in a constant list okay then uh, the charge for an electron negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs it's actually available if you uh, have a scientific calculator you may recall these two constant the first one is the mass mass is uh, 0 3 and then the charge it's a uh, constant number 23 okay so uh, next that would be the mass of uh, the mass for what's the mass for proton oh yeah let's start with neutron okay mass for neutron m 
n equals to is actually a uh, neutron mass is constant 0 2 we record it is 1.67 times 10 negative 27 kg so small then the charge q subscribe n is actually 0 neutron doesn't have any charge 0 no charge so therefore the only charge to get a neutral atom is between the electron and proton then the lastly that will be the mass for proton mass of proton m p mass of proton is constant number zero one from a calculator you may want to record it constant is 1.67 times 10 minus 27 kg 1.67 same as with the mass of neutron yes okay yeah i think it's around to only uh three significant figures okay then the charge of proton is positive 1.6 times 10 minus 19 c similar in terms of magnitude different in terms of sign okay 1.6 this is negative for electron positive for proton okay so these are the facts that you should know i think you're quite free to go through the exercise for this part you may pause it and then uh, uh, go back to the previous bit. Um, I think that's basically all about it. I hope you really practice. Okay. Thank you.